Hi guys, it's Michelle with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning March 10th, 2014. I'm going to be using the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and I just need to talk about a couple of things before we get started. Yes, I do personal readings and my website, I'll put that down below. And also this week on March 12th, Wednesday, uh, Nicole Guillaume of Guiding Echoes is hosting a Twitter chat. Uh, and I'll be there answering all of your questions, okay? So be sure to join us. It's at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? So we'll see you there. So let me just take a second here. I'm going to tune in, and let's see what comes up. Ooh, or comes out. <laughs> you are safe, okay? And this is Archangel Michael. So if this is coming up, I bet a lot of you... Again, we're talking about sitting in that new energy and, and sort of acclimating to this higher vibration as we go through all of these changes. Um, Michael is coming forward and saying, don't forget that we're here to support you through this, okay? So you don't have to go through anything by yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry I keep harping on this, but the, the cord cutting uh, with, with Archangel Michael, you got to make sure you're doing that, okay? Because... Every time you have a fear or an insecurity or a doubt in that third dimensional brain of ours, it throws out a cord to a situation, a person, what have you. So you want to make sure, he's saying daily, you want to make sure you're doing this before you go to sleep at night. Okay, and I'll read the card to you. It says, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. There really is no need, I don't know if you can see it, uh, there really is no need to be worried at this time. You have the power of the angels with you. And if you keep your channels clear, okay, through meditation, you will be able to hear all of the messages and, and see the signs. Remember, you got to invite them in. They can't just go against your free will. So be sure that you're doing that and invoking Archangel Michael to come in and shield you and your loved ones. Okay, next card up we have is Breathe. And it's Archangel Raphael, okay? He says, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. Oh my goodness. This has been coming up. I have to see how this is. This has been coming up. They're releasing the old patterns. Um, Archangel Jeremiah is really good for that too. This is Raphael, so you can work with Raphael to uh, heal your heart chakra, heal things physically, and, and, and breathe through that heart chakra to release old patterns is what the card is saying. But what you can also do, wow, it's about cleanup this week. Hey, okay, we could, we could deal with that. That's pretty good. Um, basically, Archangel Jeremiah is all about life review and releasing the past patterns, like we've been saying. So do some meditating with whatever one of those angels resonates with you the most, okay? So you can go through Jeremiah or you can go through Raphael. If you need a little bit more healing, maybe Raphael would be the better one to, to work with, okay? Next card up, we have Victory, and it's Archangel Sandalfin. You guys know I love Sandalfin. I think of him as the party, the party angel. I say that all the time. <laughs> and he says, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So even if you aren't seeing results right away, that doesn't mean that your prayers have not been heard. Um, yeah, they're, they're reminding you divine timings at work. Yeah, some of you are getting really impatient. <laughs> You're, you're all revved up. You want to go. You want to launch all those businesses. You want to go tell that person you love them and, and what have you. On the love front, this would be an okay week as long as you're keeping your energy clear to go and have a discussion with somebody. Okay? Um, this is especially because it's, it's all about clearing the past, right? It's all about clearing away the old, I can't say old patterns. How many times, you guys are going to have to count how many times I say old patterns <laughs> in this reading, but you know what I'm saying. Like really releasing and letting go of negativity. Now, this is where we got to bring in the forgiveness. Okay? So there are going to be a lot of very candid conversations going on this week. Try... Yeah, they're saying, yeah, they're saying some of the conversations that might be taking place, the other person might be losing their temper, or you might get involved and, and you start losing your temper, really try to keep it in check, okay, because when one or the other tries to start blaming the other, you're not going to get anywhere, okay. Raguel is coming forward and he says that you can also uh, ask him to come in and help you out with this and help you find a harmonious solution um, for people. 
wow, some of you, this is crazy. Okay, so there, there, yeah, there's something around coworkers too, or, or clients, or whatever kind of work you do. Um, this is about healing this week. So in order to heal, things might have to kind of crack and crumble and kind of float up to the surface so that you can look at it with, with other people and clear it away. Okay, so the big idea is to bring it up to clear it away. It's not to bring it up so that you can be right and be like, well, remember when you did that thing back in blah, 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 blah. Well, I didn't like that. And I didn't like that you did this, this, and this. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> As a matter of fact, please don't do that. <laughs> that would be absolutely awful. And that's not going to help you at all. Okay. And the final card we have here is Crystal Clear Intentions. It's Michael again. So because Michael's come up twice, we really want to make sure that we're calling him in this week and working with him. He says, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Here's what's going on. Okay. We're going to bring up old stuffs for old stuffs, old stuff for you to look at and clear away and heal. Why is that? So you can get clear in your head. You can get clear in your intentions. And once you get to that place where you've released everything, you've healed, you've gathered your energy and you're properly shielded, you're going to know for certain what you want. Now, there's a side effect to this this week. You might find that everything that you <laughs> have been banking on doesn't really fit what you want anymore. Okay? Um, maybe someone you've been pining over, suddenly you're like, I forgot all that stuff. I just did this recently too. I was pining over something that I was like, oh, I forgot. He was kind of a jerk. <laughs> he did X, Y, and Z. You're going to have some of this going on this week. Again, why? Because you're digging up old stuff and you're letting it come to the surface so it can be cleared away. But this is great. It's a good exercise. It's going to make you get clear on what you want and on how to even move forward. Let me just tune in. They're buzzing. Okay. They're, they're sending out another call for everyone to... Yeah, they're saying everyone's getting too muddled up and trying to push things. And what happens then is you get energetic blocks going on. So the angels are there. They're working hard to put signs in our way for us to see, but we're, we're just, we think we know everything. We're trying to control it. <laughs> I do that too. We're all in the same boat here, okay? So I guess that's our message for this week, to open up, let go, let God and really keep our eyes open for, for the messages that are coming through. They're saying, mm-hmm. Okay, if something gets plopped in your way, an obstacle, that, that was something God wanted there because you were heading down the wrong path, and now they're gonna, now you're forced to go a different direction. So don't look at these things that get in the way this week as, as a bad thing. Actually, they're mysterious miracles. I've been that those kinds of cards have been coming up in personal readings quite a bit in the past few days. So things that are seemingly bad are actually getting you going in the right direction and may have even protected you. Okay? So just bear that in mind. Keep a positive attitude. This might be very challenging this week. It's a good week, but it's just gonna be like annoying things and, and having that person that you've always kind of maybe had a little something with, like something you've always wanted to say, it's time to say it in a nice and loving, compassionate way. Aha! Aha! Don't go jumping in there until you're ready and in a good place so that you can do that. If you think you're going to go into something and be argumentative, cut it out. <laughs> go back. Go go back and, and oh, you know, get back into your place and, and meditate. And, um, you know, Rod Ewell's coming forward very, very strongly. And Jeremiah, too. Jeremiah, too. They're both coming forward and saying... Don't hesitate to call on them, okay? They're going to be your best friends this week along with Archangel Michael, okay, guys? So I think that's it. I hope I will see you guys on Wednesday or at least be chatting with you on Wednesday, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.